Hey everybody, it's Jochen Hyde, and I'm back with the Macho vs. Hyde campaign, February 11th, 1942. Hey, we've got a little dot base near uh, Fiji. Whew. Ah, good. I got a very important crossing going out through this uh, hex right now. So I need to I get through this without getting blown up. Unfortunately, he's getting a good look at what all we've got going through there. But I needed to go through there, so. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure my task forces got where they needed to get. Without getting picked up by a sub. That's good. Allied float planes. Snooped by allied float planes? Hmm. Okay. Sweeping in here. No fighters over a uh, baton. That's good. Okay, I'm bombing these guys because I'm going to be attacking here today. Should be a nice good hit there. Another good hit there. I'm pretty sure we're going to take Parmakasan very easily today. Ooh. Nice. All right, so I, I ordered my bombers to hit uh, Chi Kiong today, hoping to get some... Uh, some of this stuff, and it looks like we killed a Lysander on the ground as well. That's good. He's using these for recon right now, so if I can kill these recon aircraft on the ground, it's gonna make it harder for him to see what we're doing. All right, we're back to bombing Baton. It's been a while. Fortunately, he's got some sort of... Ooh, whoa! Why do we have PBYs in Baton? That's concerning. I didn't even know that. Hmm, that's very concerning. I hope he doesn't use those for some sort of naval attack. That would be really bad. I, I need to. I wish I could just get rid of that baton, but I, I have other places I need to deal with right now that are more important. We'll have to wait and see if we have a naval attack coming out of there with PBYs. Well, we're damaging these things, which I'm um, hopefully will keep them from flying. Ah, see, I was worried about this. I didn't, I didn't even think that he would do this. Oh, this is actually really bad. 
Ah, oh, man. Come on, man. Ah. Oh. This sucks. This is actually really bad. This is really bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. God dang it. Oh, gosh darn it. <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't even- how does he even know that my ships were operating there? Man, this sucks. That sucks bad, man. I, I, man, I didn't even think about that. Like, I didn't even know he could see that those ships were there. I just lost a huge part of a division at sea here. And I'm probably going to lose more next turn, next phase. Gosh darn it. Well, that sucked really bad. I, I didn't even think about that. We're going to have to deal with that again. He's going to get a second tra crack at this naval attack this turn. <sighs> Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Just, I, I shouldn't have gotten that close to, uh, Baton, but, I, like, he hasn't had naval aircraft there in weeks, so how does he know that my ships are there? We're gonna lose more. Dang it! Dang it! Come on, man! Oh, thank God. Thank God. Look at that. Oh! One torpedo hit that time. <sighs> oh, great. Please don't hit that. Please don't hit that. Oh! We got so lucky with these dud torpedoes, I can't even believe it. That sucks. Oh, come on, man! Enough! Ah! Uh, oh no! No! Oh man! I should have stayed far away. I don't know what I was thinking. This turn sucked. Hmm. Wow. What a sh crappy turn, man. What a crappy turn. That's not good. Is it sinking? How could one torpedo make that thing sink? <sighs> oh man. Talk about a crappy turn.
Well, that's the end of the 100th core. Unfortunately, it's going to respawn in Chung King now. Okay, we're bombarding Palombang. All right, 322. God, he's so weak. I just so disrupted. I can't attack. All right, Parmakasan. And we get it. And these guys surrender. And then we're bombarding here to kind of get an idea of what he's got. And he actually has a fair amount of troops here. More than I thought that he would. Yeah. 600 AV there. That's a lot. That's a lot more troops in Bandung than I thought that he would have. Wow, look at all the stuff that he's been moving. Celebes, Kupong, Tejilit Jap. He's been pulling all these with his flow planes. Everything back to here. Wow. I'm afraid to even look at the end of this thing, man. This is bad. <sighs> well, our army loss points just went up substantially here. Aircraft losses today. Two for the Allies, six for us. Mostly ops, two to flak. Ship sunk last turn. That's not good. We lost this guy to a torpedo, the Kosin Maru. Had a lot of troops aboard too. Parts of the uh, a division. Real quick, let's just take a look at the damage here. So I was also moving the dang Yamashiro to um, back home to get repaired. And he somehow knew it was going to be there. And he hit it with a torpedo. Now, it's not going to sink, but it's definitely damaged. So I'm probably going to move it to batting gas. Anything else damaged here? Okay, we need to get these guys the heck out of here. So we know he's got PBYs at Baton, but I don't know why they're not showing up. We've been reconning this base for days, and they're not showing up. This ship also took a bomb, but it's basically not damaged. So what I need to do then is get all of my fighters and fly cap over Baton Gas. Let's see, can we get this guy to Baton Gas? Return to Baton Gas. I want to get everything... Uh, in there right now. I'm going to go ahead and, and risk a full speed to get there because we have to get under the cover um, of our cap. So, man, second division is not even loading up. What the heck? 52nd. All right, well, we're going to have to deal with this. So I'm going to have to probably fly in an additional fighter squadron down here to uh, to help with the extraction of my troops. This is the other task force that was hit. It's reporting quite a bit of losses here. I, I don't know how much of the division is actually damaged. Uh, so let's see if we can get a look at it. Yeah, so that's 200. We lost a substantial amount. What we need to do here is get out of here as quickly as possible. But the problem is, is that I'm going to be within range of his PBYs for quite a while. So I'm wondering if what I need to do... I don't know what I need to do. I got to figure something out here because this these guys are all in danger. Everything in here is in danger from his PBYs now. Ah, dang. Anyway, let me get back to looking at China here. Golly. Um, 
we just took out the hundredth core here, which is good and bad. It's good because we uh, it's another uh, partisan unit that we've cleared out of here. It's bad because um, it's going to respawn a chunk king, and it's a pretty sizable unit. So either way, that's done and over with. So I don't, it's less troops I have to leave in the back line, I guess, right? These guys to move to Yang. Up north, he's still retreating as far as we can tell. Now, how many of these troops are actually moving, I don't know. But all the same, I'm going to go ahead and move into the hex so we can kind of get a look at what we got to deal with here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, nothing really happening in Burma right now that I can see. It looks like there may be some troops moving around somewhere, but, you know, I don't really know what else. No fighters at Lado, but a lot of auxiliary aircraft. So I'm assuming that these are probably transport planes flying troops in or supply in to China. Okay, at Palembang, I'm waiting for these troops to kind of recover some of their... Fatigue and disruption, because I'd love to go ahead and kill these guys off now. They're surrounded. They're probably going to be out of supply soon. They should be easy to kill off. At Palembang, still dealing with a lot of this fatigue and disruption here as well. These guys are coming together real slow. Uh, looking at the armor, though, let's look at, look at just the armor, because I used them in an attack yesterday. They're actually recovering pretty quickly, so I'm wondering if perhaps... And maybe one or two more turns, I can uh, try another armor-only attack here. Okay, I landed a bunch of these guys. So what we're going to do is put these guys into strat mode. And we're going to tell all of them to move into Pravo. So all to march. What I'm going to do here, these are a bunch of support units that I brought in from Singapore. I'm going to move them up to here and move them into Palembang. And there are a bunch of anti-aircraft guns and aviation support, all that stuff. I want these all in place the second that Palembang falls so that I can immediately fly aircraft in here. And, you know, hold this place in case he wants to counterattack with aircraft or something like that. So I'm just kind of staging you know what I mean? Not much else happening in Java other than the fact that we were able to successfully take Parmakasan. So what I need to do here is cancel unloading and start loading these troops back up. And we'll send them back to Serbia. So we already talked about it, but his PBYs are alive and well here. And it looks like he actually moved a force into Cagayan, which is not great because I don't have a lot of troops here. So I don't know how much strength he's got here, but we're actually in a bad way. Uh, he may actually be able to retake Cagayan, and that's really bad for me. I don't have hardly any troops on Mindanao, and he's definitely on the move here. I don't know what he's got here, but it's not looking so great for me. He, he just is not being very passive on Mindanao. But we also have these stupid PBYs operating out of Baton, which are going to be a huge problem for me. So like I said, I'm going to try to like circle the wagons over uh, Baton Gas and get some uh, long-range cap flying over this so that we can potentially stop any further incursions. I'm pr probably going to have to fly in these Zeros. I'm thinking about flying them in down here to help out because we... Got I cannot afford to be losing any more ships and stuff. Like, even as bad, bad as it is, the Yamashiro is already damaged. I have to long-range cap that out of there. God, this is bad. All right. Uh, as far as down here, though, it does look like I got in what I needed to get in to Rabal. We are dealing with a, a pretty substantial amount of enemy subs in this area so it looks like we're going to have to go pretty hard on the ASW down here
No further attacks on Numea, and that's good. Uh, it looks like my Zeros are finally starting to repair the aircraft, which is also good. They're flying cap over all this stuff here. And this guy is actually not going to make it, I don't think. That flotation went up substantially last turn. I think we're going to lose this ship. I'm still going to press on for Luganville, but we have to move 10 hexes. And we're only going to be able to move one a day. So I'm pretty sure that Ayanami is going to sink. <sighs> not my not my best work today, guys. Not too thrilled about how this went down. His float planes are going to be a problem until we can eliminate all these bases. And I'm just not in a condition to do so right now. This Palombank thing is just killing me. Anyway, guys, that's the turn. Hope you enjoyed it because I sure didn't. Catch you on the next one.